I got a text from my sister this afternoon that my dad was in the ambulance on the way to the hospital and that he was having a heart attack. And that is a text that you never want to get. Um, anyway, I cried and I called my sister for more updates and I prayed and I called Jeremy and um, my dad got to the hospital and they took him right into surgery. And so he's already out of surgery, um, but it was just, I really wanna be with my family right now. And so Jeremy and I decided that I'm gonna head down there for a few days, so I'm at the airport. Not exactly where I expected to be this evening, but I'm grateful that hopefully tonight I'll get to see my dad in the hospital, if not tomorrow morning. So Janae and I are headed. She's my little travel buddy. And we're gonna go see Papa. So what did mom leave for you? A note and it said, I love you. <gasps> oh, it actually has that. Little drawing on the back. <laughs> So yesterday when Kendra heard about her dad's heart attack, we got a plane ticket immediately, and she flew to Arizona in a rush. But before she left, she wrote love notes to all of us. It was really sweet. So how did you guys feel when you heard that Papa had a heart attack? I was sad. Yeah. Yeah, I felt bad for him and wanted to do something to help him. Yeah. How did you feel about it, Elise? I cried when I figured it out. I love Papa. It's sad to think that anything would happen to him, He huh? told me to build when I was three. He was also yeah. going to help me with my Pinewood Derby car mm -hmm. because it's coming up soon. Papa and Mugger were planning to come visit us for about a week um, right leading up to our service celebration. And so we had a bunch of plans with them and they're not going to be able to come now. So that's also another sad thing because we love being with them so much. Hello? No, Grandma's with me. Papa's at the hospital. Can I say hi to Grandma? She is still sleeping because it's so really early here in Arizona. What time is it? It is 6.43 and I'm already showered and dressed for the day. That's how you know something's wrong with life. It's like a time change. It's 8.43 here. There's Nene. Yeah. Say hi. Hi. Um, what have you been doing so far? Well, last night when I flew in, I went to the hospital to see Papa, and then I came home and I slept because it was late. Hi, Danae. Hi. Hi, Hi Danae. She loves Hi. you, girls. I want to talk to Papa, Mama. Oh, I want to talk to Papa, too. He's at the hospital, and I'm at his house right now. I just took a shower so I could go see him. I just ran to the store. I'm grabbing some magazines for my dad because let's face it, sitting at the hospital can get really boring. Hopefully he likes it. I figure anything has to be better than just like the medication pamphlets that are sitting around and other boring stuff there is to read and do at the hospital. And I'm also getting lunch for everybody, which I'm getting from, can you guess? Can you guess? Here's a hint, I'm in Arizona. Zippas! It's interesting with Kendra being gone, you appreciate more the stuff that she does all the time that I often don't think about. Little things like she makes our bed every day. Have you ever noticed that? Like if your mom is sick or gone or your dad is gone, you then can see and appreciate the things that you miss about them. We are missing Kendra. <laughs> That's a little bit better. Nice. I love and respect Papa so much. It's so scary and sad to think that anything can happen to him and we just are praying for his recovery and for high spirits and we want to continue to think and do anything we can to show him our love and support.
Well, I know you guys have all probably been really worried about Papa, just like I was, and I have to say it makes my heart feel so much better to be able to be here and to see him because he is feeling well and he's doing well. He still has things hooked up all over his body, assessing his heart and trying to see kind of what the future holds for him with like what other treatments he'll need and stuff, but he's doing so much better, so. We're really happy to see you. Doing good. Yes. It's good to feel alive and good. <laughs> yes, it is good. I'm always so impressed. My dad has a great sense of humor, and so no matter what's going on, I feel like he sees some fun and joy in it. And so it's really fun to just be here and visit, and now unfortunately we have to go put Janae down for a nap, so we're gonna leave for a little bit. But we've got him some good reading material. I've got plenty to do. Kendra took good care of me. There we go. Before I jumped on the plane, the kids had a chance to make Papa some cards to say that they loved him, so I gave him. All kinds of cards. I, I've got more cards than kids, so they must have... Uh, they had fun with it. Yeah, they, <laughs> they got into it. Isaac, yeah. I've got this one from Isaac, the cabins. Elise. And I think uh, Laura was practicing her L's. She was. Do you want to read him one of the funny ones that she did? I hope you have a great time at the hospital. <laughs> You're good at it. Now don't get sick anymore, L. Awesome. So that was exactly what Laura said. And then she signed it. Well, you're great at the hospital, Dad. Yeah, thanks. Now don't get sick anymore. No. So the house is quiet this afternoon. Janae's napping, and we just came home from the hospital a little bit to give her a little bit of a rest. And I'm just having a chance to sit here and think. And what I'm thinking of and what I'm feeling is just an immense amount of love for my dad. I'm so grateful for the man he is. And I'm so grateful for modern medicine and the treatment he's received and the, you know, technology that they're using now to try to do further testing to figure out what else can be done. And I'm just, I'm so grateful that he's still here with us today. That was a really scary phone call yesterday and I just love my dad a lot. So I'm feeling grateful for this time with him and um, trying to put my trust in God and have optimism of all that is ahead. Well, Janae is loving having a new place to explore. You having fun at Grandma's house? That's a lot of talking. That's a good story. Yep, there's a rug. You ready to go? Should we go see Papa? Let's go see Papa. Gymnastics going? Yeah, go back. Okay, go back. How's it going, Luke? Going good. Pumpkins Look at our pumpkins, you guys. Yourself, you like you? I love our pumpkins. You made a heart. Like Do you like my heart? Yeah. Do you guys want to FaceTime with Papa? attack start they call it plaque but it's like a little piece of skin and then it makes so like a traffic jam nothing can get past it okay you guys say good night we got to go pick up isaac can you good show night. papa my silly face we got to go pick up isaac from violin i've said he missed that call but we'll call back papa again soon for isaac Thanks so much for supporting our family during this time. We're all scared for Papa. We love him and we're praying for him. We invite you to pray for Papa with us. Jay House Adam. All of them are beautiful. I'm making a house. What is going on? I'm gonna make a pumpkin patch. I got my first side done. 